Yo, what's going on guys? We're gonna be playing some easy AP Malphite carry in the mid lane with Arcane Comet, Mana Flow, Absolute Focus, Scorch, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate Hunter with double AP and armor. For our items, we're gonna be rushing down Ludens into the flame item for the penetration, Shadow Flame, really, really strong item. So we'll have a bunch of AP, penetration, ability haste from Ludens, and then we'll have even more penetration, AP and HP from Shadow Flame. Super, super strong build. Then we can rush Hourglass or even go for a tier style item such as Winner's Approach for tankiness, just depending on what we need. Our team's already so tanky, I don't think we'll need it. We have a Scion and uh, Blitzcrank. Therefore, we should be able to get away with going pure AP, try to one-shot the Soraka in team fights. All right, here we go. Gonna put down constant cues on this Katarina. She should have taken second wind and D-Shield, and I'd be able to do nothing to her. We're, we'll be trading off Qs, except she has Conqueror, which isn't really going to help her in these Q battles. And I also have my passive shield. So we should consistently be able to win these Q battles. Just like that. I'm going to pull this minion off to the side. Look how far they're chasing me. Holy crap. We just missed a minion because of that. <laughs> She eats another one. Every single time our Q's up, we're going to hit her with it, especially when mana flows up. When mana flows up, we have to. Arcane mana flow is the only way. Not a hard matchup for Malphite. It's really dependent on if the enemy mid laner takes D shield or if they take second win. D shield, second win are massive counters to this style of Malphite play. She's, I didn't really want to do anything too crazy there. Do I have enough mana? I think I do actually. I should have enough mana right now. She burned a potion. Got that minion. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. She's playing so far back, I just can't get to her. Ah, I missed that minion day. And we'll step up, let her chew on us for a bit. We need our minions to focus her. Like this. We want our minions to put some damage in her. Got him with the attack speed slow. But you see how slow his attack speed turned there? Kindred's gonna eat him up now. Got him with my Ignite. Katarina might actually be able to kill me off that. She got double buffs. Kindred took a lot of damage and I wasn't able to follow it up since I already taken so much damage myself. This Katarina's playing so safe now. She must be scared of the Blitzcrank. All right, here he goes. Got her with the rock. Auto attack W reset. Beautiful. Now we have the double buffs. We'll have infinite HP off this. Infinite mana. Double buffs on laner is disgustingly strong. Auto attack W reset. Cat is going to be in a really rough spot from here. Your worst matchups on Malphite mid are going to be massive AoE clear champions like Echo and Anivia. They can force you to farm underneath your turret really no matter what you do. So the enemy mid laner has absurd wave clear. I would avoid picking Malphite mid against it. You won't be able to match it. And if you're forced to use your W and E constantly against minions, it's not going to be a fun wave. Especially against low clear mid laners like Katarina. Also low range champions like Katarina. Also very beneficial for him. We'll go ahead and pick up a refill. Grab this. Our E is super strong versus their team. Graves is kind of auto based, so this Trundle and Conquer AD style Katarina. Our E slows attacks you by 30% for three seconds, and that scales up to 50% slow. It throws off their rhythm. They'll just stand still because they're used to their auto attack going off by then. It really messes them up. You saw that with the Trundle on the, underneath my turret when he ganked us. Cat uh, is missing. I'm gonna ward off this side, give us a bit of protection from Trundle ganks. Only way we die at this point is if we get ganked. 
Looks like Kata did have a successful roam. We pinged it out. A little surprised she ended up getting a kill out of it because my teammates, I believe, were relatively healthy. Now we have to shove as fast as we can. Try to make her miss minions, force her back to land in an uncomfortable way. That ward should see her coming and we'll be able to punish her. Alright, she's walking the, the long way back. Got him. I was not going to let her come back to lane. She was greedy. She needed to give up two or three waves there. That roam. That's why you shove when your lane or roams if you can't follow it fast enough. Because I got just as much gold as she got through the waves and more XP. I hit level 6 first because she did that silly roam. And now I'm getting the turret plate advantage. Which is awesome. We almost just took a turret shot for that. Standing in the middle of the wave and set up a big E here. Whoochia! Auto attack W reset. I'm gonna run away from her daggers. Oh, let's crank do the rest. She's playing so aggressive. Down she goes. We didn't have our R. If we had R, we could have straight up soloed her. You saw her conquer kick in. That was kind of scary. Once she had full stacks, we definitely couldn't fight that. We'll pick up a uh, blasting. We'll grab boots. We can't afford anything else. We could go for a dark sill. That'd actually be a good option. I'll go dark sill. <laughs> That's a little bit better. We're getting a lot of damage output. She doesn't have any real uh, magic resist yet or HP items quite yet. So the more damage we get, the better. We'll be able to one shot her. She comes back in the lane. We'll attack her with one or two Qs. They're doing 300 damage a pop, not including the uh, Arcane Comet, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, I thought the, uh, I thought Arcane Comet would apply the Cheap Shot. Cheap Shot's really been over nerfed. The way Cheap Shot works is after you've impaired their movement speed or hard CC'd them, your next hit against them does some true damage, right? So I'm like, okay, that makes sense. My Q slows him, and then Arcane Comet's gonna bop him. Nope, it doesn't work that way. So now we only really get to use Cheap Shot if we're in melee, or if we are her. That's really sad. At least we still have Ultimate Hunter. Go ahead and max E second. Got her with the slow. Down she goes. She got one tapped. Didn't get any extra damage from teammates there. We have the damage because she still doesn't have HP or magic resist items. So all of our damage is really connecting well. Nice. Kind of push her off. Our teammates are on the right side. We can assume Trenel will be on our left side here. Most likely. Got her. We'll walk away from that, pop a potion, try to get our passive back. And it's coming back up. Yeah, I know she wants to take this dagger. No, she wants it. Auto attack W reset. If I had R or Ignite, she would be dead. Trunnel's top side, two of them are bot side, so I can see them all right now. We can confidently push this out. Miss one minion is what it is. Grab some more plate here. It's really nice playing mid lane when the enemy support isn't a dirty roaming support like Leona or Bard. It makes the game really unfun. <laughs> when uh, <laughs> you're not just having to deal with the jungle, you're having to deal with supports. We could probably stay and kill her with R Ignite. Yeah, I think we can. Trunnel's on our right side. Got our Q speed up. Oh, I'm dead. I died. Oh my god. I can't believe I took that much damage. I apparently took a turret shot. I thought her ignite was on cooldown rip. That <laughs> Not like this. If 
I turned on her, I might have been able to kill her. I would definitely would die to Trundle if I burned my R to fight like that. Dang. Big sad. Go Shadow Flame next. You need to maximize our magic. Our magic penetration. Magic penetration is huge, huge, huge. And the early game, because they're not going to buy any magic resist items unless you're playing against a tank, since all the tank mythics give magic resist and armor. She's, she's going for that Divine Sunder Cata build. Still up a lot of CS on her, or at least her ignite's down right now. That's first turret. It's gonna be a big chunk of gold. Nice, we still got it. R is gonna be up in 20. I wanna nick her with a Q or two. We got pillared. Uh, for some reason, Trundle flash R us. That was janky. Kata gets away. Oof, what a fight. I'm gonna flash R this Sorok if she steps up like that again. She's playing so far back now. All right, now we walk out. Very nice. We got a little bit greedy for that fight. I don't want to stay and die to Kata again. That was so sad. We can get the Hextech Ultimator massive item. Even though we're barely getting used cheap shots, done nearly 200. It's almost as much as our Scorch. They really should make it to where uh, it's easier to apply. Because my Q slows and then Arcane hits after. The Arcane should apply. With how generic its wording is, it should specifically say, Hey, Arcane doesn't work. Because it says, Damaging champions with impaired movement speed. So damaging, it doesn't say basic attacks, it doesn't say abilities doesn't specify anything so just damaging them with impaired movement speed or action deals true damage based on your level four second cooldown activates on damage occurring after the impairment the arcane comment happens after the impairment it hits like a second second and a half after it's a scam class action lawsuit for all malphite players who took cheap shot and got scammed We'll, we'll make billions. <laughs> It'll be a huge. We got her with the cheese wheel. Trying to get the Sorak up. Got her. God, Caitlyn hurts, man. She's chunking me. Still have my R. Caitlyn got up her lethal tempo and was just beating the crap out of me. I don't feel like dying. Could just use my R to get away. If I have flash, I can't do anything. Like, having flash doesn't really change anything for us. If we don't have R, we can't really do anything, though, so. I would rather not have flash and have my R than the other way around, because now I can go back in the fight and get a kill with my R. My R is still on a really long cooldown. It's over a minute, so I don't really want to put it on cooldown, even if flash is technically longer. I didn't want to turn because I knew I would die if I did. Even if I got a kill, it wouldn't really be worth it. Found it. Oof. Soraka came in at the worst time. She lands the slow on us. I'm not able to follow that up. Dang. That sucks. Oh, that's tragic, man. At least we got two of them. We are at uh, three out of five ultimate hunter stacks. We got to get Graves and Caitlyn. I didn't even realize it had a Graves. It's going to be putting our R. R will be getting below a minute cooldown, which is really nice for how strong it is. One of the best moves in the game. They didn't build any hourglass champs either. I don't think this cat is going to go hourglass. All right, it's time to roam. We can't stay mid anymore. It could hard collapse from the sides since I'm so far up. Uh, I, I, I can't move. 
I, I literally just can't move. That pillar, it looked like I could walk around it, but it wasn't letting me. I was going to walk through that area. Trundle pillar too strong. Our hitbox is too gosh darn thick. So that, that was literally just an Nivea wall at that point, but it was tricking us. Normally when you can't path around something, it'll, it'll shoot your champion around. So if you try to click past it, your champion will walk around the other way. But it, with Trundle Pillar, even if you can't get around it, your guy will try to squeeze through. <laughs> oh, beautiful. So beautiful. I'm gonna have to get an hourglass this game. They're coming back. They really are. They're coming back in a big way. Game is far from over. We just need to stay alive and stop dying. We're dying when our R is up or about to be up. Graves went for a greed build. Should be able to kill him. We taking this. Looks like he's resetting. He's going for early armor penetration against Sion. That's a rough. Probably should have just went life still. An early shield bow or something like that. Early eclipse. Just play for team fights. We can't split push. Split push Malphite's kind of crap. Sorak is going to walk into us here in a second. Oh. Autumn. I don't have R though. Blitz is gonna get me killed off Katarina. Yep. Ah, oh, Blitz crank. Triple for Kata. That's not good. She burned her flash. I might have to save my R for Kata. I really wanted to pinch Trundle fast since Sorak was gonna be coming up healing him so much. I'll just save my R for Kata. She's just one of those champs. Doesn't matter how little CS she has or how she's played lane phase. Once she gets her R, she'll find a killer too. So you have to have your R ready to cancel hers. Most kind of players are greedy. Like she can still cast abilities during her R, like cancel her own R. But most catas won't do that. They'll just let your R hit them because they don't want to dodge it. They want to get off as much damage from their R as possible and not cancel themselves willingly. We play for Drag Soul. Drag Soul is the key. Caitlyn, no HP items, no magic resist. We could one shot her. I must be on a ward or something. Blitz flashed to like, what was that? Was he trying to steal that kill? <laughs> oh my goodness. Now we just need to kill on Graves for our bounty. I need, I'm going to stand away from Blitzcrank. This dude's going to get us all killed. I had to flash or I would have given Kata resets. Got Trundle with my Ignite. We're not getting very good damage on him. Ooh, got Sorok with the cheese will. Down she goes. Beautiful. Katarina's putting out way too much damage. That build's kind of kind of ridiculous. She makes her tanky. And her damage output is still almost just as high as full glass cannon Kata. We need a stopwatch. We would have all died there if I didn't have flash because she would have killed me pretty much instantly. My R was on a cooldown. And still one shot Caitlyn. And maybe one shot the Soraka. We'll see. I could be on a ward over here. Gotcha, Kata. 
but we can apparently one shot Kata as well, even though she has a 300 HP item. I think she got a little grease. She should have gotten Mark Treads or played it. I don't think Sork Shoes makes a lot of sense on that build. She could always just get a Void Staff. If she really wants some uh, mid late game shred. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. We'll sell D ring for a stopwatch. We'll build into hourglass. And then we won't die anymore. Sign on going in deep. He does not have his hole breaker yet, so he's not that tanky. He's kind of fast though. He outwalked them pretty hard. Caitlyn tier twos, Graves is only tier one boots. Enemies are not that mobile. Trundle's bot side. Looks like he's splitting now. Jeez, Will. Don't think I can actually kill him. He'll press R on me and get back a huge chunk of health. He'll steal some of my armor. We have a lot of armor because of our W. W gives you a fudge load. Hey, friend. Oof, down he goes. So I signed as one of the best easy cheesy carry champions in the game. So well, at least one person on the enemy team is going to be making mistakes or being out of position. And Malphite can capitalize on that so well. Down goes Kata. Very nice. Get Zanya's into Robidon, maybe even pick up a match here. R's up in 64. Maybe Cosmic Drive actually for more ability haste. That could be really strong. Wow, he actually didn't step on Caitlyn Trap. There was a silence there, I couldn't follow that. I couldn't use any of my abilities. My cheese will miss, Tristana kills them all, and that's probably an FF right there. Be very surprised if they don't. And it looks like they're not. At least not yet. Cat is gonna want to come in and kill everyone who's low. Down she goes. Nice blitzcrank knock up in the Malphite R. Blitzcrank knock up is not a skill shot, so it's easier for me to let him knock up first than IR. That way she can't flash it or juke it or hourglass it, whatever. Whatever people do to dodge your R and Malphite. They'll be expecting it too. It puts a lot of mental strain on them to, for a continue, if they're trying to anticipate it for a continuous or extended period of time, it, it really puts pressure on them. So even if you don't use it, it's making it harder for them to play the game. So in, in theory, you can get more value by holding on to it for as long as possible. And uh, ideally you're hitting multiple people with it. Not necessarily able to, because they have such a high priority target, the Katarina, that I need to focus with it. Normally, you would be able to go for multiples. What I really want to go for is the Soraka. What's what's turning out to happen is our backline is way stronger because Triss is really fed. And Kindred's pretty fed. To where we don't even have to dive their backline. We can just build for our backline and win the game. Much more stable that way. Because if I try to get their backline, I could miss this, that, or the other. If I just build for my backline, I just stand near them and win. They don't have the long range zigs or Zerath to punish that style of play. That's how you break, that's how you force the enemies to have to like hard engage is you have ultra long range mortar style champions. They do not. Tristana actually outranges Caitlyn in the late game. Tristana's passive. Oh, looks like we want Baron. That's what's going on here. I'm okay with that. R is doing nearly 600, E nearly 500. All right, why does E do so much damage? Q nearly 500. So Q and E doing same amount, R doing a little bit more than both. Nice. This is Dragon Soul for us. That soul is gonna be really, really good for uh, Scion. Scion, Blitzcrank, it'll be okay on me. It'll help me get out once my R goes off. 
down goes Trundle. He wasn't paying attention at all. He probably thought we were already on it and he's gonna try to flash in and steal it or something. Something foolish. Now we get 50% uh, bonus movement speed for six freaking seconds after R. It seems like a bit much. Should probably only be three seconds. Not gonna be that. Well, since it's six seconds, that would even be good on Kindred R. Because our R only lasts for about three. So she'll still be really fast when she comes out of it. Nice! <laughs> Just... <laughs> wow, alright. Yeah, this build's a lot of fun. Very fun, very spicy. And very easy too, there's not much to it. Very low mechanical build. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's take a look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most in the game by a nice margin, 28k to the second highest at 18k. Very cool for damage taken. Eh, middle of the pack. Really not that high damage taken. Well, let's look at that again. So 14k taken. How much mitigated? Probably 14k. 17k. Okay, we mitigated more than we even took. So we were actually a little bit higher up in the pack than we thought. For runes, really good value out of Arcane, Mana Flow, Absolute Scorch. And even Cheap Shot in the end did uh, more damage than Scorch, even though it doesn't work properly off of his Q, or at least it doesn't seem to. It's a little surprising. Good value out of Ultimate Hunter. Never seemed to kill their top laner. All in all, this build whole lot of fun insane carry potential very easy to use just make sure you don't pick it versus a very high wave clear mid laner like echo or nivia and you should be good to go